This year, local veterans and their advocates have something else to celebrate. That's because Rhode Island voters overwhelmingly approved a ballot question last week, authorizing $94 million for a new veterans home in Bristol and to renovate the existing facilities. Eyewitness News reporter Nicole Estefan joins us from the East Bay Mobile Newsroom with the details that are new at 5. Well, with the passage of question four, the state will now borrow $94 million to build a new veteran's home as well as renovate the existing one. It's not hard to see veteran Mike Duffy's pride in his country and his service. I served during the Korean War. From a ship at sea to a life in Rhode Island, Duffy has spent the last six years at the Rhode Island Veterans Home in Bristol. It's an old building, it leaks. That is about to change after voters passed question four on election day. The move will allow the state to borrow $94 million to construct a new home as well as renovate the current building. The best move they could have made. Well, I think they're finally getting smart and helping these guys that are coming back from all these fighting zones. It's about time they started paying their dues. Duffy says there are no words to describe the sacrifice of military service. Well, look what they've done for us. That's the biggest thing. But some of my bus buddies in here have lost their limbs. They've given just about everything. And he's worried about the younger generation of veterans coming home to a whole new world. And they've lost everything. When they, when they get back, they can't get a job, and they need a job, and that's lousy. The new building means a new future for local vets and a reason to be thankful on this Veterans Day. The project will take about 10 years to complete. They are expected to break ground in 2013. In Bristol with the Mobile Newsroom, Nicole Estefan, Eyewitness News.